Hello Vinyl community! I have just finished another mix for my Mixcloud account. So uh, before I put the records back on the shelf, I thought I will go through them with you. And uh, let's start with a CD. This time uh, the mix was a rather mixed bag, <laughs> because um, I was kind of trying to capture a certain atmosphere of uh, sort of a trans-Asian music somewhere between Southeast Asia and Turkey. And uh, let's see how the results look. I've, I'm starting with this CD here, which is a rather peculiar compilation called Ho, Roadie Music from Vietnam. And uh, this is uh, basically a collection of, uh, of Vietnamese street musicians in the streets of probably Saigon and Hanoi and uh, yeah um, kind of interesting atmospheric atmospheric excursion into a very uh, particular peculiar sound so uh, this is the opener then I used one track from um, this quite interesting uh, sort of a mini uh, compilation called Bossa Tre Jazz part 2 step into the gallery and uh, I used the track called Uka Uja by Tokyo Black Star and uh, this is a rather uh, sort of funky jazzy sound um, then uh, the next track I used is uh, Lemon Tea by Liquid Lounge as it appeared on this 12 inch here um, which is basically called Liquid Lounge versus Jazanova and uh, that's a quite a wonderful uh, funky track that uh, has these uh, elements of um, well there are these there are these Indian vocals on this track which are um, which have this kind of a rhythmic speech in Hindi um, oftentimes uh, used as a, as a learning method if you learn to play tablas so there's this all this kind of a rhythmic speaking and um, it's beautifully incorporated on this track, I think. Uh, uh, it has this uh, very Hindustani atmosphere. Now let's talk about this record. Nothing has prepared me for this encounter. Um, this is uh, the first album by Yin Yin, called The Rabbit That Hunts Tigers. Um, came out on Bongo Joe, which uh, step by step is becoming one of my favorite labels, I must say because all the amazing crazy stuff comes from Bongo Joe. Um, now this is a, another outfit from the Netherlands and their music um, is, uh, well, um, it's an interesting blend of, uh, of uh, jazz funk and um, a certain musical atmosphere that I would associate with uh, well, Southeast Asia, China, Hong Kong. Um, it's not a surprise that there are uh, like uh, vocal samples uh, by Bruce Lee put on <laughs> the record here. And uh, that's, the, that's also the track I used called One Inch Punch. And uh, this is a beautiful album. So if you like this kind of sound, this kind of um, exotic uh, Far East vibe, with a touch of sort of a uh, James Bond flavor. This is the right record for you. Um, and uh, this came out not long ago, um, I think this year in autumn. And uh, it's quite beautiful. This is a wonderful, wonderful record and uh, certainly one of my favorite discoveries this year. So The Rabbit That Hunts Tigers by Yin Yin. By the way, I really enjoyed doing this now, kind of combined with my mixes on Mixcloud because uh, whenever I did my VC videos, I always felt there is something missing. I would have loved to present some kind of a needle drops, which is a, a kind of a sticky topic uh, in the world of YouTube and I was kind of not too happy with it and just didn't do it. But um, I think this is a nice solution. If you want to figure out how this record sounds, just uh, go to the link below the video and check out my current mix uh, on the Mixcloud and uh, give it a listen. Now I have noticed that a lot of cool bands are coming out of Netherlands right now. 
So uh, another example would be the Mouskovic Dance Band. This is their debut album that came out, I think, this year on Soundway Records. And um, I have used the track in my mix called Late Night People. And uh, this is a cool band that is um, combining uh, sort of a no-wave music of the late 70s with uh, funk and disco and sort of a lo-fi sound. It's a music with uh, some cool attitude. So um, give it a listen if you are into this kind of sound. I used one track by Sheila Chandra from her first record uh, Quiet, which came out in 1984 on Indie Pop Records. And uh, I used uh, the second track um, and uh, yeah, just a little look at the inner sleeve and uh, it's a well-known artist from India. I used one track by Gugush. Um, this is uh, her compilation that came out on Finders Keepers. This is um, rather funky, soulful music from Iran um, that includes elements of uh, well certainly Persian or Iranian music but uh, also a touch of uh, sort of a Middle Eastern psychedelic rock. So uh, it's a little bit of everything and um, she's a rather famous singer from Iran. Now this record came out uh, a few years ago in uh, 2011. I don't know if you still can get it. I mean the problem with Finders Keepers is that um, they sell out pretty quick and uh, once you miss uh, the deadline you need some patience to track a particular record down. Now this is the first album by Kwang Bin from 2015. Um, the Universe Smiles Upon You. And um, I took uh, the track um, Zionsville, the, the last track on this record, uh, and put it in my mix. So um, you probably know Kruang Bin, I mean they are really famous at this point. Um, they have this uh, interesting blend of psychedelic rock and um, well, a sort of a, a flavor of, of music from Thailand maybe. There is always this kind of uh, Southeast Asian vibe woven into the music and it's definitely a, I would call it a stoner album I and mean, once you listen to the music you kind of immediately have the this picture in your mind with a bunch of people lying on some mattresses and um, passing around the bong so um, that's certainly something that has been done to that music and finally, I used one track from one of my favorite bands these days, Altengün and their first album On. Another cool project from the Netherlands, a um, uh, band that is uh, half Dutch and half Turkish and um, that is doing a quite a wonderful job in mixing or blending um, sort of Anatolian psych rock with uh, funk and soul elements and even with a touch of disco I would say. So this is a pretty cool record um, and uh, I will not get tired to <laughs> remind everybody of that. And finally I have just two CDs here that I have used. Um, this is the Enter the Dragon soundtrack uh, by Lalo Schifrin. Um, I used a track called Sampans. This was quite fitting uh, for my mix here. I'm certainly looking forward to find this uh, album uh, on vinyl somewhere. It's just a matter of time. I just didn't give it a look that was hard enough to succeed. And uh, this here does not exist on vinyl, so I have it on CD here. This is Gece Kondu by Babazula. Now Babazula is basically one of the coolest bands from the Turkey. And uh, what they are doing is kind of a mixture of uh, sort of a Turkish psych rock beautifully combined with uh, dub. 
So this is uh, in parts dub music, uh, but strongly flavored by uh, these sort of uh, Anatolian rock elements. This is a pretty crazy band and um, I enjoy their music a lot. Now um, this is a, a uh, digipack design, but it's quite nicely done with these cut out elements. So uh, as you can see, um, same goes here. Here this looks like there is a window here in the picture, but that's just uh, the flip side of the CD that's inside of it. So uh, it's a nice design and uh, kind of like those digipacks. Yeah, and that's it for now. And uh, keep it spinning and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.